Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this the 23rd of December 2022. Um, hope you're all set for Christmas. We are nearly there. Um, we will be rolling out our 12 days of Christmas as usual from Christmas Day onwards. So hopefully you can, we'll be dropping one every single day of the, uh, between Christmas Day and January the 6th. So hopefully you can dip in and out of it as you go along. And I believe it's January the 5th, not January the 6th. Uh, but I just want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for your support throughout the year. I really appreciate it. It's brilliant to know that people are doing the practice and getting something from it. And yeah, thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, I, we really appreciate it. So let us begin our practice today lying down. Closing your eyes. Letting go of your day and everything that's going on in the world. And just bringing yourself to the mat. giving yourself the opportunity to slow down. And let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, filling your belly, pause and then exhale. Counting the breath, inhaling for one, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, and continuing on to count at your own time, at your own pace. One more breath. Then bending the right knee, lifting the leg up, just holding on to the right shin. As you encourage that knee to come closer to your chest. And then taking the outside of the knee, just draw the knee all the way over to the left side. Bring those arms into a T and turn your gaze to the left or to the right side. You can hold on to that knee uh, with the left hand if you find that helps to just keep it in contact with the floor. One more breath here. And then coming all the way back. Let that right leg come out long and draw the left leg in. So again, holding onto the shin, encouraging that knee to come closer to the chest. softening the shoulder blades into the mat. And then drawing that left leg knee over to the right. And again, bringing the arms into a T and perhaps holding the leg down with the right hand. And coming back to the center, bending both knees this time. 
and crossing that left leg over the right thigh, lifting up that right foot and just holding on to the back of that right thigh if you can. And let's take three breaths here, flexing both feet. And releasing the right leg down let's just change that over to the other side so right leg crosses over left and again flexing both feet getting yourself into the pose and see with each exhale if you can just draw that left knee another millimeter closer towards you three breaths here and releasing the leg down and crossing the legs and again lifting both feet up this time we'll come into a happy baby so bringing those hands between the knees holding on to the outside edge of the feet letting those feet look up towards the ceiling and if you like to bring a bit of movement into this pose do or if you prefer you can just hold it still as we take three more breaths here. And releasing those feet down onto the mat, rolling over onto your side as we come up to sit. And if you've got a block, you might like to sit on it. We're going to be seated for a couple of minutes. So whatever way you're sitting, just focus in on your seat bones, equal weight on both seat bones, sitting up nice and tall, lengthening through the spine and the crown of the head and clasping the hands together draw them up past your ears one more breath here now let's take a bend towards the left let the chest and gaze look up and outward to keep those shoulders in line with each other. One more breath here. And coming back through center, take it to the right. And back to the center drawing those hands down keeping them clasped as you slowly bring them up over the head releasing the hands let the arms come back so the chest opens and draw them around again and again bringing them all the way up over the head release draw the arms back and around one more time. And from here then swinging around to come onto 
all fours. Having those shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Gaze on the mat as we do some cat cows here, synchronizing with your breath. Feeling each vertebrae on your back move through the two extremes. And one more round before we meet back in our tabletop. Well, in your tabletop, then uh, bending those toes, step the hands forward just a little bit, and we're going to push back into our downward dog. Pedaling your way in here, nice and slowly, letting those legs start to stretch out. They haven't been doing any real work yet, so just let them slowly begin to open and when you're ready coming to stillness and raise the right leg out behind you two more breaths here Bending that right knee. Let the hips stack on top of each other as you look out under your right armpit. And then leveling those hips up. Let's step the right foot forward, dropping that left knee down to come to a low lunge. Some strengthening poses now for the legs. So from here, curling the toes on the back foot, lift the knee up. Keeping the legs as they are, draw the arms behind you. You can allow the body to fold forward slightly. One more breath and draw the arms up past the ears. And raise the torso up, keeping the legs there. One more breath. And let the hands come down either side of the foot as you step that le leg back into a plank. Taking three breaths here. And from here we're going to push back into our downward dog. So you might need to shorten that distance between the feet and the hands. Push the hips back towards the back of the mat. Gaze towards the belly button. One more breath here. And let's raise that left leg up. And then bending that knee, stacking the hips as you look under 
the left armpit. And straightening up the hips again, step that left leg through, coming down onto the right knee and into your low lunge. Curling the toes of that right foot as you raise the knee up. Great stretch of the right leg and engagement and strengthening of the left leg in this pose. Let the hands come behind you as you just let the body lean forward slightly. One more breath. Draw the arms up past the ears. And then raise the torso up. And slowly bringing those hands down either side of the foot stepping it back into your plank I always think the plank almost feels like a resting pose after those strong leg uh, stances one more breath here And come down on the knees, feet, and push back into a child's pose. When you're ready. Making your way back up to tabletop and into your downward dog once more. One more breath here. And walking those feet up to meet the hands into a forward fold. One more breath in forward fold. Bend the knees, drawing yourself all the way up, raising the arms, raising the gaze. And sweep down to a forward fold again. Bending the knees, coming all the way up to stand, bringing those hands into prayer. Close the eyes. Take three breaths here. And then from here, bringing the hands onto the hips, just step it to the long side of the mat, opening those legs up nice and wide. We're going to hinge at the hips here. You're going to actually step the feet back to the back of your mat. As we hinge at the hips, bring the hands down 
and place them um, in front of the mat, so over the mat. And even walk them out a little bit. So you're in a wide-legged downward dog. Uh, just be sure the floor where your hands are isn't slippy. Just feeling how the spine can really elongate here. It's really helpful when the legs are a little bit wider. I think it always makes the back just stretch out that little bit more. I'm walking the hands back. Bring them over towards that left foot. Taking three breaths here. And then taking it over to the other side. And walking it back to the center, deepening the fold, draw the hands behind your back and clasping the hands draw them away from the back to really help to deepen that fold releasing the clasp Bring the hands down onto the mat. Heel, toe, the feet together. So the toes are touching, the heels are a little bit apart. Sitting down into your chair pose, raising the arms up. One more breath. And coming all the way up to stand, making your way to the top of your mat. Ha uh, feet hip width apart, drawing the arms up over the head. Palms together, raise the gaze. And sweep down to a forward fold. Halfway lift. And forward fold. Last sun salute on each side. So stepping the right leg back. Just one breath here. Through to your plank for one breath. Coming down, knees, feet, chest, belly, and drawing up to a cobra, pushing on through your tabletop to your downward dog for a breath. Stretching the right leg behind you, step it through, low lunge. And into your forward fold. Bending the knees all the way up. Last one. Taking a breath here. <coughs> Sweeping forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Let's step the left leg back. Low lunge. And from here through to your plank. Knees, feet, chest, belly, and into your back bend. 
pushing up here through your tabletop down with dog for a breath stretching that left leg out step it through low lunge through forward fold to come and stand good and from here making your way down onto your mat to come and lie on your back and hugging those knees into the chest taking a little movement coming to stillness let the feet come down and the legs come out long toes flopping out to the side arms down by your sides with your palms facing upwards before we go into our final relaxation and meditation i just want to thank you very much for joining me in today's class and wish you and your families a very happy christmas <laughs> hopefully you could hear santa claus in the background there saying ho 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 so yes best wishes from alan and myself and once again thank you for your support and now it's time to totally relax and let go. Letting go your feet and your legs. Letting go your glutes and pelvis. Letting go the whole back of your body and shoulder blades. The front of your body chest and shoulders letting go your arms and your hands your head your face jaw and chin the whole of your body just let it go i'm pausing here for gratitude, identifying someone or something that you are particularly grateful for today. And let your attention now go to your breath as you inhale through your nose, filling your belly pause and then exhale through your nose spending a few moments here focusing on your breath and connecting with your inner self 